Hello everybody, I'm Gamer 101 and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Our last silent run didn't quite go, so what the fuck is Ascension Mode? Runs get harder as you win, does not affect win streak. Okay, let's try this. I'm not very good at this game, but I haven't got a single win on camera. Um, at least confront the first boss. Okay. Uh, can I... I was gonna say, um, I actually did manage to beat the first... Or, I'm sorry, I managed to beat the Time Eater for the first time. On a, a previous run that I was doing on camera. I keep getting my wins off camera, unfortunately. But... It is what it is. I, I don't really have any control over that, unfortunately. Wish I did, but... <laughs> I mean, you could argue that if I'm playing it, I might as well record it, but... I do like to play games on my own time, so... That's kind of what I prefer to do. In, in those particular instances, I should say. I don't really feel like commentating all the time. Ooh, Infernal Blade's are excellent when you upgrade it. Thunderclap's also great, though. I'm thinking Infernal Blade because I can get some amazing cards out of that. Thunderclap, if I get another chance to take it, I probably will. And immediately. And immediately, it is a beneficial card. So, I'm going to put up a block. Hit him again. I want to kill him as fast as possible because he'll do a little bit more damage than this guy will, I believe. I might be wrong about that. In fact, this guy actually might do a lot of damage from what I remember. Okay, not really. Um... Might just be able to outright kill you. Yep. Okay. Oh, that was all my energy. Yeah, so I don't really even know what Ascension Mode is. It's just a harder mode. I've heard about it. Kind of. Well, or let me rephrase that. I have heard its name. I don't actually understand it completely. So. Normal Strike can be good. I don't want to keep filling my deck to the brim. In fact, uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'll take the curse because I can remove it later. If I get a chance to remove it, I will. Uh, wow, that was that was so lucky. Okay, and we'll go for this question mark. That's all we can do. Remove a card from your deck for seven HP. I will absolutely do that. Let's get rid of that injury. Um, one, two. Get three campfires on this path. One, two. Okay, so I'm only going to get three campfires no matter which path I take. I don't have to fight an elite. I kind of want to. I kind of want to at least fight one elite, but I'll have another chance up here. So let's not force an elite when I'm not fully prepared in my mind. <laughs> so let's go ahead and upgrade Infernal Blade to make it free. That's beneficial at all times. So we're going to go down this normal path and go for that chest. Let's put two defense and hit a strike. While he's, while he's doing a stronger attack, let's defend against as much damage as we possibly can for now. We'll heal too. Every time we enter combat... Oh yeah, free attack. Hell yeah. And a free seven damage. Nine damage. Don't need to defend, so we're just gonna... He, he's dead next turn. Pretty much no matter what we draw, he's dead next turn. Unless I get all defense, which is not plausible. I hope. Please don't. Okay, you did. I really was a little worried you were going to for a second. <laughs> and then I'm gonna heal up to 79. Uh, Headbutt can be pretty damn good, but I don't want to start filling my deck just yet. I kind of want to get some kind of archetype going. Get an identity going. Boomerang can be really good. Uh. Wow, I'm torn. I'm torn between Headbutt and Boomerang mostly. I think I'm just going to skip for now. I think I'm going to try to keep my deck a little bit thin. Keyword there is try. This guy can be a pain in the dick. Put too vulnerable on you. And we'll try to outfuck you next turn when I get my Infernal Blade. There's no guarantee I get it. I'm only going to draw five out of the seven, but if... First fuck. Eh, can't make use of it, unfortunately. Try to take no more damage. That way I can heal the man. 
Yeah, I, I could take two more damage and still feel happy about it. In fact, I'd like to get stuff that can just outright kill you now. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of damage. I gotta kill this guy faster. He's getting ready to put a block and peace out. Probably gonna, yeah, he's gonna do this. Well, he's dead no matter what. We came in on top, and that's the important part. Shockwave? Eh. <sighs> I don't like skipping offensive cards when I don't have a ton, but at the same time, whenever you obtain a curse, you can max HP by six. That's super helpful. Yeah, we're gonna go there. Let's upgrade my pommel strike. I get more card draw. This is more preparing for future cards and future uh, deck types more than it is... Uh, Kill you. I can't. Uh, I, I actually could have, but you know what? I don't really like using an explosive potion on these guys, so I'm opting. Uh, gives me a good reason. Good, that just gave me a good reason to defend his all. Maybe I should have just killed. Him, actually, you know what? Here's what we're doing. Didn't want to, but that's a good enough reason to use it. You might argue that it was stupid to put up the defense, and you'd be right. <laughs> you'd be absolutely right. Like a Vulin, huh? Let's put an immediate... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just, oh, fuck. At least use vulnerable so I can go full on aggro. Ooh, please give me something good. That's pretty good if I had strength, but I mean it's good even without it, to be honest with you. Just you're a good enemy to hit with a weak potion because the, the you're only gonna do two turns of full blown attack, so you're only gonna get uh, really two out of the three weak. But I need to be aggro. Okay, now well you're vulnerable again. If I'm lucky, I may be able to kill him next turn. Which is ideal. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Upon pickup, upgrade two random skills. Two. I'm not going to complain about that. Those were all... Oh. <laughs> this is so good too, though. Bludgeon. I need a strong hitting attack. Sorry for anyone who's like, intimidate! Okay. Ooh. Let's put up the eight block. Let's. Yeah, I'm okay with this. It, 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 another case of why the fuck did you put up block? That was a bad mess block. That's all that was. Oh, I didn't. Probably just gonna bludgeon you? Because why not? Wow. Uh, dual wield can be fucking excellent. Actually, dual wield with a uh, infernal blade can be incredible because I can get some powerful cards out of that. Oh, I thought that was a pot that I was about to bust a nut. Alright, um. Thinking. Plus one dex is pretty good. Or hex, but that might just give me better strikes, which kind of... Uh... You know I'm looking at feed, but at the same time... Nothing in here is super good. Do I have another shop? Nah, this, this is just a boss. I'm thinking I'm going to remove one of these. I don't want to remove a strike. Because of the perfected strike. I might actually remove. Wow, this game is pissing me off. Alright, uh. Let's remove a defense. Now, my. I'm torn between a shrug it off. Or. Oddly smooth stone. I'm gonna flip a fucking coin. 
Heads again, because <laughs> I'm at this, I can't decide. Heads this, tails this. Theory, flip a coin. Picking the fucking oddly smooth stone. Yes, I just used Siri to flip a coin. All right. <laughs> Some people might disagree with that, but uh, legend. I'm no question about that. It's my strongest card, and I just made it stronger, so. Let's just make you weak. I don't have Infernal Blade, so I didn't really want to use Dual Wield. Dual Wield can be used on other cards, of course, but I'd rather use it on Infernal Blade. He's charging up. He gave me Pommel. He gave me Perfected. Perfect. You're not going to get to attack pass next turn, which is the best part about this. Meaning he's not going to get his powerful attack off. Let's see what Infernal Blade gives me. Just straight up 18 damage. And then 42. You assholes only have 18 fucking HP left. That's perfect. That's exactly how this <laughs> That's the perfect situation for the cards I have, basically. Ooh. 16 fucking damage? Or you should... Well, you know what? You'll just die. No, you won't, you dickhead. I'll just take it, though, because, I mean, honestly, um, once I'm done with the boss fight, I will heal, so I'm not too worried about it, and these guys only have one HP each. Unfortunately, it is enemies I have to... Oh, wow, you guys are dicks. Okay. Let's kill the one that's doing more damage, and let's perfect his strike you to outright kill you. I don't really need to worry about taking the damage too hard, unless Ascension Mode fucks you and doesn't let you heal after boss fights. Which would actually be an interesting... I'm sorry? Um, the game just crashed. <laughs> that was, uh... Unexpected, to say the least. <laughs> Give me just a moment, you guys. It's like, hey, you beat the ball! You ain't gonna do shit. Can you? Well, that's horrible. But it looks like it gave me the same draw, so this actually might go exactly the same. Meaning this. It's possible this is... It, it, yeah, it is. This is a rare case of me being able to predict exactly what's going to happen in the fight, which is hilarious. Meaning I can actually make a different decision if I feel it's necessary. This... Yeah, give me the same thing. And 42 damage again. You're going to end up with 18. I'm going to end up in a situation where I can't kill one. <laughs> which is kind of funny, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. And that means I'll get my bludgeon and shit on the next turn, I think. Or, sorry, not blood. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've interrupted him, so. What did I get? I, I already forgot what I got on that, that next turn. Hopefully it doesn't crash me this time. Yeah, perfected strike. Kill you. You can hit me. And it's a repeat of what I just did, so unfortunately. And I just I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with something different this time. Alright, I didn't crash. Eric, uh do I have entrench? Yes I do. I do have it unlocked. I don't really have a block meta going, I have more of a power meta. Power meme deck. Barricade is so good, but I don't pull up block enough. If I had more block cards, I'd take it, but I'm going to take feed so that I can get my max HP up. Sozu or Curse? You know what? Curse key because uh, I have this. Curses are actually going to benefit me, and then I can just remove them if I'm understanding it correctly. I want to avoid elites if I can, and no, unfortunately, I cannot... 
looking, yeah, I'm definitely looking at the less pet left side path here because a lot more shit on it. Fuck this guy. Colonel Blade, see what you give me. Free pommel, yeah, we'll take it. Uh, I'll do defend. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm just a massive idiot. Alright, well. I ain't gonna benefit from anything there. I should have, uh, dual wielded my Infernal Blades. That was stupid. Way too damage outright, huh? And nine block. If I get lucky and draw dual wield infernal blades again, well wait, I don't think I can do that. Infernal blade got exhausted. Forty-two damage. Won't kill him. Let's see what cards it gives. Won't kill him, but it'll damn near come close. If I had an energy potion, I'd have used it, but oh, at least I'm not. That was a. Uh, Good thing. Okay, I've got a deal. Uh, dead. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna do the math. I just knew he was dead. I'll get an extra two HP. Uh, draw one card. Place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Eh. I'm passing up cards that are generally fairly good. It's just I don't think they're immediately benefiting. I really haven't even been using my bash. Are there any dead cards besides the bash? I don't, again, I don't want to get rid of the strikes because this is a hack. So let's get rid of this second. Um, the only reason I'm keeping bash is because it does enable a certain amount of extreme power coming out of me. Take that as you will. Or I don't have enough. I'm kind of thinking this, but I do have an elite coming up, so I'm thinking I should take less combat. Uh, we'll see what you got. I might take a potion. Uh -huh. I would totally take ghostly armor if I could. I would totally take inflame if I could. Flash can be good. I might actually just opt to get an energy potion. This will actually help my other perfected strike. Huh. Or I could take. I'll take the energy. I might have a chance to get another perfected strike later. I feel like that's a more uh, choice. Choose one of. Or just heal 20. I'll choose one of 20 because I can get some seriously powerful stuff out of this. Yeah, no, nah, now nah, I'm kind of looking at that thinking I should have took Barricade. Fuck. So it's between Seeing Red and Flex. Seeing as I don't have any way to keep permanent strength at the moment, I'm going to choose Seeing Red. If I had, like, Inflame or, uh, or uh, Limit Break, God forbid, <laughs> will you kill some? Oh, you... Might. Fuck you. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Was that the most optimal use of an energy potion? Anyway. <laughs> Moving along. Uh... No, the the short answer is no, it absolutely wasn't. But ooh, Infernal Blade. Uh good opportunity, actually. Oh, uh, there's no reason to use seeing red. So I'm gonna take a little bit of damage, unfortunately, but I am whittling one of them down, so. I was hoping to get an extra attack so I could take one down outright, but that didn't happen. This, in this case, I actually can. Can't kill you, though. Could, I would, but I can't. But I can stop you from hitting me. Let's do that.
I might say you should have just used the feed, and you might be right, but if it comes around again, I'm gonna win. Game nine. Is that? Yeah, if I want to kill you, I do. You're doing more damage. Let's outright kill you. That way we take zero damage. Uh, you're dead. <laughs> Was bludgeon necessary? Nah, maybe not, but I did it anyway. I fucking fuck. Just fuck you. Fuck you. You're, you're just being mean to me. I have no uh, crowd control. I don't really like cleave that much, but I can't seem to get a hold of a whirlwind, which I would rather have. So for one, 10 damage to all enemies. Since most most of the reason I took that was because it was already upgraded. If it wasn't upgraded, I definitely would not have taken it. Fucking I forgot to do it again. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm actually gonna take my regen and my dex code. I'm actually gonna use all of them. Uh, Cause one of them has to fucking die. This is actually a good opportunity to use. I'm going to use it on you because you are simply more damage. I'm not going to try to enable feed. Getting them out of my deck for now and trying to kill one of them as fast as I most feasibly possibly can. Because this is a guy that will entangle me. Entangling me is a very big no-no for a deck that is so aggro. Uh, Cleave is a no-brainer. You'll, you'll just die, so I don't need to hit you anymore next in my infernal well that's frustrating to say the very least that bludgeon could have that like i can't i could probably die if i don't uh all right let's see red dual wield i can't dual wield them right dual wield my strikes i guess Defend. Bash you. Hit you again. Pray to God. <laughs> I am taking a lot of damage. However, this is an elite fight. It's not going completely horribly just yet, but it is... Die. You still won't die. That fucking hurts. That, that hurts. My pride. That is something I don't have a lot of. And you're hurting what little pride I fuck you. <laughs> just, just fuck you. Now, Gremlin Horde's an incredible, ooh, I, I need defensive. I need defense. Flame Barrier was a no-brainer. I need defense. No, 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 no. What the fuck are you doing? Rest. Rest, you dumb shit. Rest. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Resting is now a lot more valuable. Now I can feel a little bit more comfortable about upgrading. I'm going to upgrade the thing that gives me block. Because it's a two-cost card, I need to get the most value out of it possible. These curses aren't completely hurting me, but... I would like to get some way to remove I'm going to upgrade my Perfected Strike. No, I'm going to upgrade my Dual Wield and try to use it appropriately. Instead of being a fucking idiot. Okay, you... I have... I am one coin short! Are you fucking kidding me? Italicize is a, uh... Great card. can't afford any of these. If I could, I wouldn't anyway because I'd remove a curse. But uh, ignoring that, let's take the energy potion. And let's take the metallicide. Alright, we got combat. And that's a little unfortunate. Now, I did not draw a dual wield this time. I do not have card draw. Let's take infernal blade. We'll take headbutt. We'll, there's no reason to use a defend. Strike. Headbutt. Uh, pull our bash back out. There could be an argument for that, because it will do 15 
But I think I'll actually try to enable it on this fight. Probably on this guy rather than this guy, but because the, by the time my deck comes around again, I might have a little bit more control. Yeah, let's do this. Gain 17 block. Bash you, actually. Because I'm going to negate all damage. I want to make him vulnerable for the turn in case I can kill him outright. Because if I get a bludgeon, that's going to do a massive metric fuck ton of damage on this guy. Even with weak. Uh, dual wield my... Dual wield my cleave. Ooh, no, dual wield my... Just give me another one of them. Oh yeah, I forgot I upgraded that. <laughs> Alright. I could have done one. That was stupid. But if I get my, if I, I, I'm very likely to get my bludgeon since I haven't come around it yet. And yep, there it is. You are not dead, but you will die. Or never mind, maybe you fucking won't. Getting tired of these uh, uh, one and two HP bullshit. This makes it so that I have to rest, unfortunately. Luckily for Regal Pillow, I am getting a lot of value out of resting. That's... So we're doing it. Oh, let the hex up. Pray to God. You are not too bad. No reason to use Flame Barrier. I will use Strike. Strike, just because I can, fuck it. I guess in hindsight I should have used the strength potion. Yeah, I'm thinking I should use the strength. Let's do metallicize. Let's get some extra block. Yeah, I saw the misplay there. I, I realized what I did. A little too late, but I realized it. You fucking dickhead. No, you fucking dickhead. Of course he takes my bludgeon. I'm not a happy camper. All right. You took the two cards I need to make this shit work. Killing you because you took my bludgeon. Now I need to kill you because you took my dual uh, dual wield. I got my bludgeon back, but unfortunately I couldn't use it because I had to kill one of them. Flame barrier is not necessarily just not. At the same time, though, that'll do an extra six damage. And it'll prevent me from taking damage from him. It's essentially the same as doing a strike, but it made it so that I don't have to use the strike and take damage. I could just... Hey. This is going to turn as any. Right. Just go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm about to take 51 on the face. Unfortunately. But I am going to get a free turn after the fact. That is the only good thing. That's a good free turn. Alright. I'm not confident about this. I don't think I'm going to beat him. That's 26. Draw a card, see what I get. Fuck. Fuck. Get enough to use both strikes. Yeah, I'm not confident. I'm probably gonna die here. And if, even if I don't die here. Even if I don't die. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta race him. I have to. I didn't want to use feed there, but I can't enable it. I'm not gonna try. I need to. I need to kill this fucking guy. 
I'm not gonna kill this fucking guy. Yeah, he, he, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. 17 plus 9 is 26? Yeah, 26. You're doing a lot more than that. Well, that is disappointing. You know, because this one's going kind of short, I'm going to go ahead and start up another run. It's also going to be an ironclad run, and I'll try the ascension mode again. Because I don't think that's what fucked me. I really don't. Runs get harder as you win. Well, I didn't win, so... Use a card to obtain. I'm going to just go the straight 100 gold. I'm okay with that. Makes an early shop worthwhile. Yeah, let's go this way. I want to go with this path. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood to just race. Because fuck this guy. I hate this guy. This is a... This is like... This is an enemy that should not pop up on the very first fight. But he does. Okay, I'll exit blocking him. Oh, you're gonna weaken me. I should have just hit you. Shit. It's a... Hate this fucking guy. He, he should not be a first enemy encounter. Because he does, he, he essentially d gets to a point where you can't prevent damage from him. Anger? I'm gonna take Flame Barrier, actually. Flame Barrier was doing its job. None of these guys are attacking, huh? You're going to gain 7 block. Ultimately, you'll take less uh, deal than that. Because that puts you at lethal, and basically lethal for this. I don't think I'll be using the explosive potion here. Seems like kind of a waste this early. But I can kill you, so we're going to do that. We're going to hurt you so you get rid of your block thing. And we're probably going to kill you next turn. Hopefully. 4, 8, 12. If I get three strikes, you're dead. Well, you're dead no matter what, actually. Didn't have to be three strikes, thankfully. Uh, disarm is great. Yeah, disarm is just great. Uh, I do have a decent store of gold, so. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next... None of these cards are... Yeah, none of these cards are, uh... Something I'm really looking forward to. Huh. Kind of looking more at uh, the intern. They'll get four for every start. Let's do that. And let's remove a... Basic stroll. No, we've got defense. We've got defensive stuff here, though, so let, we need the... We need our offense. Let's get rid of a basic defense. Uh, I hate this guy. He, he's someone I might actually use this on because this thing's a piece of shit. Huh. Yeah, he's gonna block and buff. I can kill him, though. Yeah, you're dead. It's fine. The damage he did to me, I got right back. So I essentially got through that free. Thunderclap, no-brainer. I'm, I'm taking it this time. We're gonna do this question mark, and then we'll... Move card in your deck. Is there anything worth upgrading? Thunderclap, kind of. But we are about to enter a campsite. Removing a card, however, could be great. Now, we essentially... We replaced one of the blocks with Flame Barrier. So that's something I'm okay with. Forming a card, however, might also be useful. I think what I'm going to do is transform one of my basic strikes. Transforming is risky because you might get something you hate. Removing a card, however... Actually, no, let's remove a basic strike. Transforming is too risky, I think. Uh, let's see. If we go along this path, we can skip elites. 
There are no more merchants unless we hit a question mark that is a merchant. I'm thinking I'm going to go along this path right here where there is one elite because it, we can make it so that we got an elite fight. Fuck these guys. <laughs> I was hoping I got the knob or something. Yeah, these guys are worth it. Yeah, uh, some people might not like that play, but I hate these guys. I really just want them to die. So the damage I could output on them was beneficial on the first turn since I had four energy. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Mostly did that to get rid of the uh, artifacts. So that if I get uh, Thunderclap again before they're all dead, which is likely with this deck, it's only 11 cards. Most of the cards in the decks right now are fucking dazes, which I'm about to draw. Yeah, See, that that's why I got rid of it right there. You're dead. And there's nothing for me to block against, so. What do I get strength bonus from? Oh, yeah, the potion. Let's just kill one of them. And defend against the other one. Some people might, might say I should have disarmed him, but he'll do more damage that way. And... Wow, this game just doesn't like me. All right. <laughs> I, th I think that's become a pretty prevalent. This game just don't like me. And not really okay with that, but I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> Times two. And thunderclap and you're dead. All right. That wasn't horrible for an elite fight like the. Ooh, I, now I don't gotta upgrade. Whirlwind, that's a no brainer. Whirlwind is exactly the kind of card I was looking for. And we're gonna upgrade that immediately. Whirlwind is a great crowd control card. Now, I'm not. I don't think I'll be able to buy anything as a potions here, but we'll see what he's got. And not even. Okay. Any cheap cards? Not really, but I don't think I'd want any of, an, any, any of them anyway. Fiend Fire was possible. And we got our elite fight in, and it actually wasn't that bad one. Yo, that's a that's a great thing to get early on. That is a really good thing to get early on. Yeah, I'll do this. Let's remove a basic strike, and we'll upgrade flame barrier for the extra block. Now, I am very torn here. I'm kind of liking this triple question mark path here, but I'm also liking combat question mark elite. I think I'm going to opt to do this because I've been... S How much combat have I skipped? Quite a bit, actually. So let's get some combat and hit another elite for... And if I get whirlwind, they're dead. I did not get whirlwind. That's disappointing. However, you're I'm not taking any damage this turn, so... If I get Whirlwind this turn, you're fucking dead. I think you're vulnerable first. <laughs> Just because I can. Uh, close line, headbutt, shrug. Shrug it off is pretty good. How many defensive cards do I have? One, two, three, four. Offensive, offensive one, two, six. I'm okay with that balance, so I think I'm going to opt to skip and get some extra HP. Don't have another shop or a question mark, but I have a thin deck. And in reality, when it comes to shops, this will only be a one. No, no. If that was, uh, if that was just one that was like innate or something like that, I'd take it. But I'm actually gonna disagree here because my deck is so thin, it will only hurt me. This guy. We're gonna use disarm on you right away. Get your strength down because you're just gonna buff up. And unfortunately, I didn't get a powerful card right off the rip. Which I would have rather had. Now, uh, I... let's make you vulnerable. And then let's hit you with a whirlwind. Maybe, actually, no, that was stupid. I should have hit him with a strike and then the whirlwind. That would have done more damage. Oopsies. All right, we're going to make you vulnerable. We're going to hit you again. This guy is a race. We have to just kill him. 
I don't want to use blocks because it'll just make him stronger and make him hit harder. What the fuck happened there? All right. Uh, if it weren't for, oh fuck! All right. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take entrench because if we get body slam and barricade, oh holy fuck! We're also going to go ahead and upgrade it. Entrench is a fantastic card if you can get it to work. I do prefer a strength build, but we haven't been able to capitalize on that. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm going to I'm going to accept that. I was thinking about playing a block and then entrench. But then I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that might be stupid. This might be a wasted card because you're gonna he's gonna go down soon. Next turn, if I get powerful cards, he's just gonna die. Well not well not die, he's gonna split. But Okay. That'll put him at vulnerable. Yeah, he's gonna split. It's fine. Now they're gonna have a pretty high amount of HP, unfortunately, each, so that sucks. But another whirlwind, as such, makes that much less of a pain in the ass. Every time I draw a whirlwind, it makes my crowd control go a lot smoother. So that's kind of what I opted to do. You're going to do six. Vulnerable. Let's, let's just take you down. 16 damage, who fucking cares? Yeah, who fucking cares? Forget about it. Oh, well, that's right. You're going to split. You're not going to do that much damage. Okay. The will flame barrier. Let's split you. That way I can benefit more from whirlwind much quicker. They're going to keep giving me frail and shit like that, though, so that's the only annoying thing. Which, unfortunately, makes Whirlwind worse. Or not frail, uh, weakness. See, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about right there. That knocked them all down a peg. I get another Whirlwind, this is over. Like, I'm at a point where I could actually just choose to... Uh, throw this hand away. Well, there's no reason to. Let's kill as many as we can. Maybe I should have hit the strong ones, but honestly, this fight's over, so it's perfectly fine if I take some damage. It's a big deal. I could have played it better, yes, but... Oh, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, fuck you too, the ga then game. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to do anything deadly to me, just... Make this fight go on another turn. All right. Fiend fire is tempting. Dark embrace. I don't have an exhaust energy, but that would be nice. Fiend fire is the one I'm looking at most. But there's nothing I'd really want to exhaust, so I'm actually going to skip it. No longer gain gold. Versus... Do I have an expensive deck? Not really. Echo I would fuck me. I'm more looking at Ectoplasm, but at the same time, I'm an early Ectoplasm kind of sucks. But three curses also kind of fucking suck. I mean, yes, I could just. Uh, actually, it's, I think the relics can be game breaking if I get the right one. I'm gonna take a chance. Not gonna like it unless I get a game breaking relic. Not bad. Not bad. None of these damage me in combat. Okay. Oh. Okay. Those might not have been game-breaking relics, but they are all very good. 
Shops. Shop. Shop, please. Please shop. Shop. Shop, please. Please shop. I see one right here. I'm kind of leaning. Boink, 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 boink. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just. That, that's actually kind of a no brainer. Let's just do that. Whirlwind makes these guys a fucking joke if I can get it. Did not. So let's make you do no damage. Hit ya. Hit ya. And just because I fucking can. Trench? Oh, fuck. Whirlwind will not kill these guys outright or anything like that. It'll just prevent them all from attacking. Which... That was a... Dude. I'm only gonna take 10 damage. Yeah. No, that's 20 damage. At least this one goes away, actually. So, after I draw it, it removes a curse, which is also pretty good. I, considering I could have got some really ugly curses, that was a pretty good draw. Oh, I wish I had energy. <laughs> but you know what? Knocking them all down a peg, that feels fine by me. Prevents them all from attacking for a turn. That's pretty solid. Unfortunately, I won't draw my uh, Whirlwind again anytime soon, but... This is a great turn for Flame Barrier. So he's just gonna die. And the rest of these guys are gonna be pretty hurt. So that was a great turn for Flame Barrier, actually. I like my Whirlwind. Oh, you're, you are the best. <laughs> Uh, Cleave's no good here. Corruption. I I can see it having a place. I'm not gonna risk it. If I had something that uh, synergized with corruption, like Dead Branch, then I probably would. We're gonna do this. End of each turn, you can choose one of three random cards to show. Oh, okay. 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 This can get fun. 85 gold for a relic is a great trade. I don't have any powers, unfortunately. Five max HP. Yeah, we're going to do that. Simply because of the fact that I don't want another curse. I've got four already. Thunderclap you. Defend. Actually, I shouldn't have defended. I got Anchor. That was stupid. I forgot about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll take Fire Breathing and then we'll play it simply because of this. It essentially makes it so that I get a free turn just by playing that. Or a free card just by playing it. Uh, we're going to play a... Play block, strike, whirlwind. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna benefit me because I have nothing gaining strength right now. So, another another instance of using a power being essentially free. Because this is great. You watch. Oh, that made it even better. Eh. Uh, doesn't do much, but. Well, I can still play this, actually. Bludgeon. And the best part is, I don't have to take a card. I can skip them if I feel it's making my deck too thick. There's no guarantee Fire Breathing gives me the card I want. So let's take a chance, and it did. I should have... Clap. Might not like this. No. You might not like that, but I'm thinking along the lines of try to take less damage. Flame barrier is a no-brainer. I can take two. I can actually no, that was dumb too. Heavy blade's not as good because I have no strength gain. At least I prevented all damage. That's a good thing about it. Vulnerable you, you need to get you need to start going down. This is bullshit. 
Let's keep you vulnerable for next and take less damage. Bloodletting. Now, you're starting to see the problem with these curses, though. Because they're in my deck, they're getting drawn so frequently because my deck is not that big. Let's use you. Get the extra attack in. Actually, I didn't need to. But unfortunately, I spent HP for nothing. Another Whirlwind would be nice. Have more frequency in drawing it. But it's not upgraded, so I don't know if I should do that. Angers are essentially free attacks, but... If Whirlwind were upgraded, I would probably go ahead and take it. But because it's not, I'm going to skip it. Uh, the only thing we'd really upgrade is disarm. Let's rest and get our HP back up since we lost some that event a bit ago. I'm glad I did because this guy's a piece of shit. Flex. Flex is great, especially if I get like my bludgeon or something. I mean, it only puts the damage up by two, but still. Heavy Blade is a little bit more beneficial. Excellent. Let's make you vulnerable. You're going to do a lot of damage to me, unfortunately, but you've got to go down. Uh, Exhum. Or not, not Exhum. Carnage. Heals 31. Yeah, he'll, he'll just die. So that was pretty good. And my health is above what I started, so I'm actually pretty comfortable. Um, Body Slam. Actually pretty strong. If I can draw it with Flame Barrier on like the first turn, that didn't happen, but that's... This is an immediate play. Spot Weakness. Uh, you're not doing what I wanted you to do, unfortunately, but we will drop your strength down and make you vulnerable for the next turn. Uh, none of these are great, but I will take... I think I'll take Pommel for the card draw. Well... I'm going to Flame Barrier no matter what I do. This is, in fact, the most damage. Jesus fuck, that's ridiculous. Okay. Yes! Because I'm very likely to draw my curses. And you get hit 18 because it's per attack. And I didn't draw a curse with Emulate. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks a little. Uh, blood for blood. Because it's free. And the, the good thing is these cards don't stay in my deck. Now, there are some I would want to, mind you, but... It's pretty good. No matter what. Whirlwind is probably something I'll use. Uh, blood for blood's a no... Not yet. Can't kill one of them. And nah. None of them are super special. This is another case where he's going to hurt himself for 18 just by hitting me. Fortunately, this is quite a bit of damage. This might just kill you. This is more damage on one attack, though, so let's do this first. It'll only do 16. But it will kill the minions, and I will prevent all damage this turn, so... I'll just take Bludgeon, because fuck it, I, I like Bludgeon, it's hilarious. In fact, I'm guaranteed to draw it now. So, bye-bye! Armaments plus, huh? 
Yeah, let's do that. Now, I'm going to head for the path of least combat, most likely. So, we're going to go this way. Yeah, the game is giving me a lot of healing opportunities, but I'm kind of squandering it with all these, uh... uh I'm going to remove the fuck out of one of these curses. In fact, let's remove this one. The la we'll probably remove the ethereal one last. All vulnerable. Go ahead and disarm one of them. And there's no reason not to, I guess. See, one of them is a... We'll pull, we'll pull it. Because this one's ethereal, now I only have one curse in the deck. We'll pull that, we'll remove that one last, simply because it is the least detrimental to us. Whirlwind's kind of a no-brainer. Armaments Plus will upgrade all of them. This won't kill any of them. You're not gonna like this too much, but I need. I'm I'm hitting a point where oh, Reaper's so fucking good, especially against multiple enemies. Limit break ain't gonna help me much right now, but I'm hoping to draw like a flex or a spot weakness, and then. Okay, I'm I'm stretching it. <laughs> Actually, the more I think about that. And these guys have just gotta fucking die because they're just gonna keep getting stronger and look like uh, I I have a real chance of just fucking dying here in fact I might just die this turn please give me something good Holy shit you didn't I actually might just die here that's 24 he's doing 34 damage I have 35 Take the impervious. Yeah, I might, I, I might just die here. I'm at one fucking. Okay. Um. Yeah, I should have played here. Like, Whirlwind right there was the kind of card I needed. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna beat these guys. That is incredibly unfortunate. You know, I don't really know why I'm picking anything at this head. Uh, well... I don't feel good about that, <laughs> if I'm being honest here, but in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to join my Discord, link is in the description below. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe for videos every single day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!